Okay, let's now go ahead and start displaying the data that we seeded in the previous video. And since we have already looked at the basics of inertia, so yeah, things like these are going to be relatively easy because we have already looked at how we can display the data, how we can pass the data to our front end as prop, and how we can use API resources to properly format the data. So yeah, we'll be doing all of those stuff in this video by displaying the students related data in the front end so yeah let's go ahead and start working on this so let's open up our code editor and let's start by displaying the roots first so yeah let's open up our web.php and since we only want the authenticated users to access the students route so we'll be defining that over here so route and again we'll be defining the resource routes and let's pass the students route over here and the corresponding controller responsible for this is going to be the student controller class and let's go ahead and define that controller so artisan make controller student controller let's open that up and let's go ahead and define that index method and here we will just return the inertia method and inside that uh, we will define this index view inside the students folder and let's also go ahead and grab the students data so the students are going to be grabbed from the student model and let's also import the student model and while we are here, let's also go ahead and format this data accordingly using API resources. So I'll just wrap this and call the student resource collection. And again, we haven't defined this. So let's go ahead and define that over here. So artisan make resource student resource. And okay, while we are here, we also need to format the data of our classes and sections so yeah let's also go ahead and define those so we need to define the classes resource to properly format the class related data so let's go ahead and define that and let's also define the student resource okay section resource actually because we have already defined student resource so let's hit enter and let's import the student resource let's navigate to that and here let's go ahead and format the data accordingly so we'll pass the id the name the email and instead of passing the class like this we will again format this class specific data using the classes resource api resource and then call the class relationship and we'll do the same for our section so I'll use GitHub Copilot to generate that data. And since all of these are in the same folder, so we don't have to import them. Okay, so this looks good. We are displaying the ID, the name, the email, and the class and section related data. And we can even apply the when loaded to only pass these data when we are eager loading. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that as well. So this, when the class relationship is loaded, only then we want to pass this data. And we have looked into this in the previous section as well. And let's also go ahead and do the same for our section relationship. Okay, and on our student model, let's open that up. And here let's implement the width property to ego load the relationships so protected width and we want to load the class and section relationship which are defined over here so now whenever we load any student related data the class and section related data will also be eager loaded so yeah that's done let's now go ahead and continue working on our flow so this is also done and on our controller let's go ahead and pass the students related data and now on our index.view okay we also need to import the student controller on our web.php so that's done and let's now go ahead and work on the front end stuff so on our resources js pages let's go ahead and define a new 
students folder and inside that let's define that index dot view component and here i'll just go ahead and paste the design and then we will continue working on this okay so i'll just go ahead and paste the design and there are a few things that we still need to configure in here like uh, we have this magnifying glass which is a view component and yeah we still need to define this so if we go ahead and try to render this then it will throw an error so yeah let's go ahead and fix this first and then we will look into the design so yeah we have to define this magnifying class inside the components icons namespace so let's go ahead and do that so here i'll define a new folder called icons and inside that let's define this magnifying class dot view component and i'll go ahead and paste the code again for this and then we will continue working on this okay so let me just paste it and this is just a simple svg component which will be rendered alongside our search input field so yeah this is the simple svg icon that will be displayed and now we can save this and if we go ahead and look into our design let's open up the students route okay we need to run the npm run dev command i'm not sure maybe i have not run that okay i'm doing that but this is not working so i think uh, this is again a bug of the width server i don't know maybe we can try to run this npm run dev command again by restarting it and if we go ahead and reload okay that looks good so yeah this is the design and let's now go ahead and start displaying the data from our backend okay let's open up our student controller and here we are passing the students related data so yeah we can receive that on our index dot view and then start displaying the data so let's go ahead and define the props object and here we are receiving the students data and the type in this case is going to be object and this is required because without receiving this we won't be able to render the data so yeah we can pass that and let's now go ahead and loop over this data on our table so here we have the table head i'll just fold it and here we are displaying the tr so let's loop over this tr so v4 student in students so we are receiving the students as our prop and we are naming each of our iteration as student and we also need to pass in a key to this so that Vue.js can uniquely identify each of our iterations so yeah let's go ahead and pass the key and the key in this case is going to be the student's id and one more thing that we still forget in here is since we are passing this data by wrapping it inside our resources so what we need to do here is we need to access this data by calling students.data otherwise it will throw an error because our data will be wrapped in this data key and now we can go ahead and display the student's id so let's go ahead and display the id let's go ahead and display the student's name let's also display the student's email and here since we are also passing the classes related data so yeah we can access that by calling student dot class dot name and we can also access the section data by calling the student dot section dot name and this should be student instead of students and here we can display the date it was created on and we haven't passed that data i think okay we have not done that so let's go ahead and pass the created at date by formatting this properly so instead of that i'll just go ahead and do to formatted date string okay and let's go ahead and display that so student dot create that and for the edit and delete buttons we'll work on this later so let's go ahead and save this and yeah this looks good but the created at date is not displayed so what could be the issue okay we have the date but still it is not rendered so let's go ahead and look into it so we have the student resource and we are grabbing this created at let's try to pass today's string let's see what's going to happen okay that works or we can also do 
to formatted date string i think i misspelled this or i passed a wrong method name so yeah that could be an issue and if we now go ahead and reload okay this looks good so i'll pass this as our formatted date string and yeah this looks good so we have finally displayed all the data and we have also used the api resources to properly format our data so yeah in the next video we'll be looking at implementing the paginations so yeah that's also going to be an interesting one and currently we are displaying all the records as you can see so yeah we'll be looking at how we can implement server-side paginations so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one